At Kramatorsk's Hospital No. 3, there's only one medical specialty now, trauma. The only patients still here are those not yet stable enough to move west towards safety, like Yakov, wounded by shrapnel in a Russian bombardment. My wife is dead. My son is in occupied territory in Crimea. I don't know what will happen next. Many doctors have left, and volunteers from elsewhere in Ukraine are replacing them short term. They're often specialists in head wounds. Uh, blast of the, from the debris of the shells, and they come from up. If uh, military and uh, soldiers have uh, helmet, helmets, so it somehow protect them. Uh, but for civilians, it is just a very low chance. Despite the danger, civilians are still signing up for Ukraine's territorial defense, and knowing how to treat battlefield wounds is a major part of their training. If the wound is in the arm, you can't know exactly where it is, so you need to put the tourniquet as high as possible on the arm. All of these volunteers say they're ready to do their duty at the front. I care about my town. This is my motherland. I don't want the separatists to be here. Others choose to help with the humanitarian situation, like Natalia, who coordinates both aid and civilian evacuations, at least when she can. They don't want to evacuate. They're scared. They don't want to live in these conditions. They think their flats will be robbed if they leave. There are a lot of decisions to be made after a bombing. Some flats are ruined. Then people say, OK, now we're ready to evacuate. Authorities in Donetsk have continually urged people to flee. Taking daily bombardments since the fall of Lysychansk, the city of Bakhmut is down to just 5,000 or so remaining, many of whom are elderly and lack the resources to leave. Valeri's mother has a heart condition. What can I do? What can she do? Where are we going to run to? What can I say? How can I draw attention to this to help Ukraine? Ukraine is doing what it can to stave off Russia's invasion. However, any help from further afield may come too late for many parts of Donetsk. Ever since Russia took control of neighboring Luhansk, it's continued to press its momentum to the west.